last year alone, I made almost $11,000 in my Etsy shop, and I took six months off to move 3,000 miles across the country and didn't do a thing, didn't list a product, product. All I did was answer customer messages if they came in on occasion. More and more people want the flexibility to work from home. If you're interested in part-time money, side hustles, or even full-time work, the internet has the money we're looking for. On our internet money segment today, we're going to interview Julie Berninger. Julie is a work-at-home mom who left her corporate career after 10 years. Now she helps people start side hustles selling printables on Etsy. Today we're going to learn how people can make money on Etsy through printables and how you might be able to get started today. Welcome back to the show, Julie. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. Well, let's talk about what got you interested in making money with printables on Etsy in the first place. Well, I was one of those people that listened to podcasts during my lunch hour on my commute before and back from work when I used to go to the gym when I had time before I had a kid to work out. And I always wanted to start an Etsy shop, but I didn't know how to make bracelets or and I wasn't a crafty person. But I did discover that temporary tattoos wasn't something that I could have manufactured for me. I would make the designs and I ended up listing them on Etsy and doing really well in the bachelorette party space because at the time I was in my late 20s and now I'm in my early 30s, but I'd been going to a lot of bachelorette parties and I realized that people would be willing to spend 20s, $100 on these throwaway items for that one night only. And it was a good market. So I did the tattoos for a while, but on top of my corporate job, it became a burden. Even though I was making money and it was typically between $15 to $20 per order because a large amount of people will attend a bachelorette party and they would buy tattoos for the whole group of like a dozen women who were attending. So I needed something that was more passive. And I happened to meet someone when I was at a conference for blogging, because that was something I was also exploring at the time. And she told me that she sold printables on Etsy and made six figures. And that sort of made a light bulb go off in my head. Okay, I can keep my Etsy shop. I can still sell in the bachelorette space, but why don't I try selling printables for bachelorette party? And the idea of creating that more passive business model was very appealing to me. That's very cool. So from there, how did you ramp things up to and have this end up being like a, a decent paying side hustle for you? Sure. So last year alone, I made almost $11,000 in my Etsy shop and I took six months off to move 3,000 miles across the country and didn't do a thing, didn't list a product, product. All I did was answer customer messages if they came in on occasion. So it's something that has grown over time. Now with the bachelorette party printables, I started out making scavenger hunts for bar crawls. And that was something fun that made sense and was a desirable product then. But with the pandemic, bachelorette parties were one of the first events to just decide they were not a necessary event. So I had to sort of reimagine my shop. And that's when I started getting better and better at keyword research and following trends. And I was able to find other products that could give me that $1,000 per month in revenue that I was sort of looking for, that supplemental side hustle revenue that was my goal. So I found templates for small business owners. I started dabbling more in seasonal products for holidays and experimenting. And then I was able to get that shop up back to the income level that I was looking for. Great. That's great. So you, we talked at the top of the show that that you left your corporate career and you're helping people do this. You didn't leave from selling bachelorette print, printables uh, or, or printables on Etsy solely, right? No. So I've been trying to do the digital business online thing as a side hustle for years and years. And I had a podcast, which is how I met you, Andy. And I had a blog and I had been monetizing all the things. And then when I started selling printables on Etsy, that was the one that took off the most in terms of I had my podcast listeners that were super engaged and I had people signing up to do these masterminds with me that they were wanting to learn more about selling on Etsy and they were seeing success printable space on Etsy is a growing and growing market. In the last couple of years, people's shopping patterns changed. They're shopping more online. They're doing more DIY, fun kind of decorative things when they're celebrating or celebrating events or giving cards to other people. I mean, they're not going to CVS or Rite Aid and picking up a card anymore. They're printing it from Etsy. So I had more and more people that were just interested in selling on Etsy. And then I was able to start a business, Gold City Ventures, that along with that plus selling on Etsy, plus making money a th- little bit through blogging and podcasting and being in the financial freedom movement. I had a lot of savings. That's what ultimately allowed me to step away from corporate in July of last year. I love that. That's great. Yeah. Julie and I have been buddies for a while. Uh, podcast Started a podcast around a similar time and um, 
we've uh, we've both been on this digital entrepreneur journey for quite a while, but all all the ups and the downs of it, right, Julie? <laughs> yes, yeah, it's a roller coaster for sure, but it's something that I'm super passionate about, and when I help other people find the same fire that I have for it, it's really exciting to me. Yeah, the cool thing about what you're talking about today is Julie's done all the research for for you for this, and it's like, hey, if you're looking for a, a a nice side hustle where you can use some of your creativity, this might be for you. So let's talk about why Etsy. You know, Etsy. We know Google. Everybody goes to Google, right? And we go to all these other different search engines. Talk about Etsy as a place to sell things. Why is that a good place to sell things? So as someone who tried many different online side hustles, the best thing about Etsy is that it has 90 million customers that are shopping on there. And that number increases every year. Customers on Etsy, they want a more personalized custom product. I personally think of Etsy when I'm trying to get someone a nice Christmas gift or to celebrate some event or occasion in their life. I know that if I go to Etsy, I'm going to get something that's more personalized and cute and something that will really make the person receiving it feel special. So in the printable space, Etsy is becoming more and more known for that. I mean, people are shopping there for last minute gifts. I know Love Coupons was a big hit on Valentine's Day this year. That was kind of surprising, but it makes tons of sense. I mean, people were looking for that last minute special gift they could give someone, and there's no better place for that type of thing than Etsy. And Etsy will bring the customers to you. That's the biggest reason of why Etsy. It's because as someone who built a podcast and a blog, and you know this too, Andy, it takes a really, really long time to build an audience. On social media, it can take a long time. Whereas if you put your stuff up somewhere that already has customers, and out of that 90 million, maybe a small percentage is interested in your particular niche that you sell in, but they're bringing the customers to you, and you don't have to necessarily do all that work over time to build that audience. Yeah, I think that's great. And then and then printable specifically, a lot of people are selling different types of things. You've even dabbled in different things on Etsy. Why printables? And 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 why is that a good good place to start for people? For those of us that want a more passive side hustle, what's awesome about printables is that you pick when you do the work. So I will do research to figure out what type of product I want to make, and then I'll make the product on my computer. And then once I list it to Etsy, theoretically, hundreds, thousands of people can buy that product with very little action from me. Now, sometimes I'll get a customer service question, and I do have to answer those, but not every person that buys does that. And that's what the difference was between now selling printables and when I was selling the temporary tattoos. With the tattoos, I had to make a big investment up front. Even tattoos that aren't that expensive, I've shelled out a couple hundred dollars so that I could make the tattoos. And I was wrong. I picked some designs that just didn't sell. So not only did I sort of waste my time on those, but I also had boxes of tattoos in a design that no one is ever going to want that are now under my bed in a guest room somewhere. And I'm not, I don't know what to do with these things. Whereas with printables, you can change your mind on the drop of a hat. And all you did was sort of waste that time to create the printable. And it's not it's fun to actually make a printable. So it can feel like a relaxing, creative thing for you to do too. Yeah, that's the cool thing about, I think, this creativity, uh, creative activity. I think a lot of people are looking for maybe a little bit of side hustle money, but they also like doing creative things. So maybe going to drive for Uber or whatever, because that's quick and easy. Yeah, they can get you money, but I don't know, you're not really flexing your creative muscle and you're not looking to grow a you know small side hustle passively as well. By the way, on the tattoo thing, if you want to just bring those to the next conference you and I go to, we can just throw them on. I'll, I'll definitely wear it. Tattoo. Okay. Um, you don't want their bachelorette party one, so you don't want to know what they say. Let's just say that. I have no that. shame. I have no shame. So <laughs> I'm good. You and I can hang out and be weird. It'll be fun. That'll uh, be fun. <laughs> let's talk about different content that people are putting up there. Obviously, you know, Etsy's probably all over the map, but like maybe just throw some ideas uh, or maybe ones that you've come across uh, through through coaching and your course. We came up with a strategy after taking a couple thousand students through the course of what will get them the, the, their first sale faster because people are more motivated to continue and grow the side hustle when they see those dollars really soon. And that's what I love about Etsy versus other things I've done like podcasting or blogging where it actually takes a long time, can be years before you even see your first dollar of return with those side hustles. So students that start out trying to, we call it kind of chase the holidays or chase the seasonal calendar, that actually is a pretty successful side hustle because Etsy is known for celebrating holidays, getting decor for those holidays, for gift giving. And there's always a printable element to all of those things. So that's what we recommend to people that are just getting started. No, you don't necessarily have to find your unicorn niche that no one's discovered. That's this most amazing, smartest thing. Just 
whatever the next holiday is, two months ahead or, or a month ahead, depending on how fast you work, pick that and try to make printables that are related and supportive of that event. That's cool. That's cool. Let's let's talk just generally numbers. I'm a you you and I both numbers people. So like, what, what could somebody make doing this if they dedicated a portion of their week to it? You know, side hustle time, call it whatever, ten hours or something like that. What what could somebody expect to make if they did this for a while uh, as a side hustle? So I think a good goal is a couple hundred dollars a month from printables in your first year. And then you can get it up once you're someone like me that I spend less time, but I have learned how to do the right research up front. So more of my products maybe might sell than a new person that's learning. But I think a, that four figure kind of a thousand dollar per month is a really good goal for, you know, when you're six months in a year in on Etsy. That being said, I know people that have taken this course that I've seen and they love it. They don't want to spend the four or five hours that we recommend a week. They want to spend 15, 20 hours and they throw everything into it. And I've seen someone make six figures on Etsy in a year, which makes me like, wow, I get so jealous. I'm like, maybe I shouldn't be taking six months off and moving. Like maybe I should spend more time doing this because there is a huge, there's huge potential with this. So that kind of was a limiting belief of mine. I thought like, oh, this is, you know, printables are kind of like a, a little adjacent side hustle, but it could potentially be a full-time income for someone, but they have to spend the time. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's pretty impressive. Yeah. It all, all takes the dedication and the time you put into it and, and your, your general interest in the topic as well. So, you know, there's somebody listening right now. I'm even thinking this too, as, as my question, like, I'm not very creative. I, I, I like to think that I'm creative with making a podcast or videos and things like that. But when it comes to like design and stuff like that, I don't really feel like I have that type of skill. What would you say to that person that's maybe interested in this as a side hustle, but it's not very creative? That is one of the number one scares that people have with starting a side hustle like this. And I promise you, myself, the others that are taking this, we're not graphic designers. If you are a graphic designer, fantastic. You just you know made it easier for yourself, but you don't have to be. My printables are not very pretty and that's okay. They still sell. In the bachelorette party space, you can imagine having gaudy, bright colors, glitter everywhere. That was a bonus in terms of sales. In, in this celebration and holiday and kids printable stuff, that type of like d design, it's not like people are looking for the most beautifully, most aesthetically created things. Now, if you are selling in the wedding space or you're selling wall art, and wall art is one of the first things that people want to sell when they uh, want to get into the side hustle, and I try to discourage them from doing wall art just because the standards that, that a customer wants with wall art is much higher. I mean, making something that is made on your first try that's good enough to hang in someone's living room for six months, that's like a really bold attempt. But for those of us that make this holiday stuff where we make more kind of celebration or event-based things, these are things that people are using for like one day and they're not necessarily holding it to the same aesthetic standards as other things. So that's what I would say. You don't need to do this to be a graphic designer. It's not really about the graphic design. It's kind of about the business stuff. That's what's going to make you a successful shop or not. Um, if you have it all, then then that's great. But most of us don't have the graphic design down. Yeah. And then even for somebody who I don't even know how to use Photoshop or anything like that. Oh, are there other programs that somebody could maybe utilize that are a little user-friendly for, for novices like me? <laughs> yes. So Canva.com is a free online graphic design tool. It's truly amazing. I have the Adobe Creative Cloud, which is kind of an expensive software package. And I just use Canva now at this point. It's just, it has everything. And over time, they've gotten better and better with features. But you can find elements and clip art and fonts within Canva. You can make the most printables directly from Canva yourself. And it's a very low cost side hustle to get started. I mean, Canva has a free version of it. Like anything, you can pay for upgrades and bells and whistles, but you can get started with free for this side hustle and get going. That is our, our favorite price on this show is free. So <laughs> no, it's, it's true though. Like if you're getting into a business, you know, there's, there's lots of uh, potential, depending on what you're doing, lots of upfront costs that can come into things, but something like this can be something you dabble in and then decide if you like it. And if you really like it, you can go head first. And so if you are, you know, if somebody's listening, they're like, Hey, this sounds really interesting. I know you guys have a course. We mentioned that a few times. Tell us about the course and then um, and then how people can, uh, can, can check it out. So the ePrintables course takes you through the A to Z of starting your Etsy business from zero. And we teach our seasonal product strategy as well as the keyword research tools that we've used as bloggers and podcasters that also apply to Etsy. So I think that's kind of the advantage of getting the done for you approach 
and your time is valuable. That's something I've learned on this digital journey. I did spend years trying to DIY. And then there's a certain point where it's like, well, if I just got the answers ahead of time, I could have done this and left my corporate job probably a lot faster. But it's something that I, I learned. If you want to get started a low cost way, there's a free ebook I can give you, Andy, called The Seasonal Product Secret. And that's a 20 page kind of primer to starting the Etsy printables business. And we talk about some different tools that we use and give ideas of printables to make. I can give you a link to that to share with listeners in the show notes. And that might be a good first step. That'd be great. Why don't, why don't we put it under marriagekidsandmoney.com slash printables, uh, everybody. And I'll, I'll make a pretty link for that, Julie. You can send me okay. the link afterwards. So yeah, marriagekidsandmoney.com slash printables. That way you guys can connect with Julie, learn more about how to make printables on Etsy, and just bring in a little bit of extra cash while you are flexing your creative muscle. And if you don't have like all those super skills, Canva sounds like a great place to, to go. Uh, I use it a lot um, and uh, could really help with this, this printable adventure. Julie, thank you so much for your time today. I really appreciate it. And if people want to just check out your website, where should they go? goldcityventures.com or you can find me on Instagram millennial boss two L's two N's I apologize for the cheesy rails I'm learning social media and how to do video <laughs> I love it I love it and if you guys want to uh, hear a, a fun episode that Julie and I did probably it's probably four or five years ago I'm going to put that link in the show notes too we talk about Julie's adventure and financial freedom for her family as well Julie thank you so much for your time today thanks so much for having me